It's been rough. It's been rough. So I decided to go out and recruit more than just players to the team. I've recruited demigods. Jesus, it's blinding. What is going on? It's not just B'nai Sewell, man. It's also the God. He's ascended. Chris Godwin. We're not going 0 and 8. We're not going 0 and 9. We've already gone 0 and 8. I'm tired of losing. I'm tired. I'm done with it. We got the 2 and 6 Jets. We got a terrible John Gruden impression. We're kicking things off great. All right. The Jets, 2-6, and six, led by Zach Wilson. They are an 80 overall team. And I'll be honest, I haven't read the comments in probably... Man, up at this point, probably six episodes. I haven't even released episodes uh, through weeks four, five, six, seven, and going 0-8 yet. Can't do it. Too mean. I, thin skin, I'm a little pussy boy. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. We work with them a bunch and for good reason. They're the best global men's grooming company on the planet. I actually just got this package from them. Um, looks very, very nice. And you can see I, I had to throw the uh, lawnmower 4.0 back in there, which is this awesome electric razor. Forgot the word razor for a second because I don't want to just call it a razor. It's a lot more than that. It's got these awesome replaceable ceramic blades with skin safe technology. So you're going to limit Nick's snags, cuts, to an absolute minimum. I actually uh, had to go to the bathroom, get this other lawnmower 4.0 that I have. This one I use for my face, and this one, not my face. I like to keep the two that serve different functions, as you can imagine why, if you even think about it for half a second. It's got a cool travel lock feature as well. All you have to do is hit this button three times, this light will flash, and then boom, you try to turn it on, it's not gonna turn on. You can have it It'll be in your suitcase, your carry-on, whatever, if you're going somewhere. It's not going to turn on, lose all the battery, which is super long, by the way. And all you have to do to re-enable it, just go ahead and hit that three more times. The LED light flashes again, and then boom, you're good to go. It's going to turn back on. It functions fine. See the awesome LED light in there as well? For a limited time, when you use my link down in the description, manscaped.com slash bangle, you'll get two free gifts. You get the shed travel bag, and of course, I already have one of these, and you get the anti-chafing boxer briefs as well second pair of those which is awesome i would bottle these guys for you but i think that's probably better suited for another website i don't know if you guys know which one i'm talking about or not but go ahead get 20 percent off free shipping plus those two free gifts i just talked about when you go to manscaped.com slash bangle once again that's manscaped.com slash bangle the link is down in the description oh yeah uh <laughs> jets had lance windsor now it's just frustrating like i i know i've been playing badly i realize it we're 0-8. The Patriots episode, I imagine, was tough to watch. Because I think it was pretty clear. I just stopped caring. <laughs> and when you stop caring, it's tough. So I'm really going to make a concerted effort this time. Panay Sewell is going to play left tackle. Chris Godwin, uh, I've changed his superstar abilities. He's got... He's got murder you if you make eye contact. Like, what's going on? If you step within five feet, you burst into flames. I gave him red zone threat to win contested catches. So, you know what? Throw it up. He'll make a play. I need to get some sunglasses. Um, and then for Panay Sewell, I put on secure protector. Taylor Decker's at right tackle. And some people were telling me to put on like one step ahead on Amani Warawarie, but he can't get it yet. So I think Acrobat maybe was the next best he needs to get 85 overall slot uh Derek Davidson I think I have acrobat on him and then Deshaun Hand I think no outsiders extra credit maybe would be good for him I'm not really sure so we'll rock with those we had been so close to getting some wins and we had lost devastatingly in so many different ways and then we just got murdered by the Patriots in week nine. Week 10 is going to be different. I really promise. Week 10, I'm going to try as hard as humanly possible. I'm going to pound the damn rock. And we are going to win a ball game. I will promise you, 0-8 is already terrible enough. I get it. This team is not going 0-9. It's just not. 
It's not. We got 60 staff points available. Let's see what we can spend those on. What do I have to do to unlock this one? I just got hands on offense. Not all is lost. Premier destination. And then can we unlock it now? We can access an additional focus player through weekly strategy. That's actually huge. That's huge. Can we do anything else with these 10 points or should we just save it? I almost think we should save it. I feel like we should. I'm going to hold on to those staff points for now, but that's actually a major, major, major uh, thing to unlock there. Because now we can add in Derek Davidson or, I mean, any of the quarterbacks, Paul Garrison and Alex Soto simultaneously. It's a great ability to have. So this was a, a rebuilding season. It wasn't a competitive season. It really, really wasn't. Zach Wilson's their quarterback, not going with Lance Windsor. We are going to, I don't think, defend the deep pass. Like, what are the odds he's going to be tearing us up through that? Let's do medium pass. And let's make sure to go half pads. Split the reps. That seems to be good. So we'll do that. Get the defense locked in. And then offensively, it's just got to be pound the rock. I think I gave DeAndre Swift reach for it, by the way. So we're not going to be getting stopped short anymore. He's going to be reaching for first downs. He's going to be getting first downs, I hope. And I am going to bring in a guy like Solomon Clifford, who we drafted to be a short yardage back. We should bring him in in short yardage situations. So... We're going with that. And the extra focus player, again, I think is awesome. We got Russ Clemens in there, Alex Soto, Derek Davidson. Why not Paul Garrison? Why not Paul Garrison? The only other player I would consider bringing in here, ooh, Rashad Reese. Let's actually do that instead of Russ Clemens. I was going to say Dorian Tompkins, a D tackle, but we're going to go with, uh, with the, run, or the running back slash receiver there in Dorian Tompkins. And I think... We're not going to get five plus rushing touchdowns. We could get points if we get close, though. You know what? Let's go for it. Five plus rushing touchdowns. No, that's obscene. Let's do 200 yards rushing. That's a little bit more realistic. It's five plus. I, I feel like four maybe is like, all right, that's still a lot, but it's feasible. Five is a ton. This is exactly the week where they're going to show me a big injury. Just because I like I desperately need a win. Like I need a win so badly. And they're gonna be like, hey, uh, all your starters, uh, they tear their ACLs. They're done for the year. They tear them. No, they uh they tore them. Rashad Reese with an upgrade. I would love to get him up to star dev. Just not sure it's gonna happen. And I think. I don't know. I don't know what we do for him. There were suggestions to move him to receiver and then upgrade him as a receiver. But I don't know that I want to do that. I'm not sure what his role is yet. He's a decent receiver. You know, actually, I do like that. Let's move him to receiver, get like deep route running and stuff. Actually, he's already pretty good there. I, whatever. We're going to make a decision. But he's going to move back to receiver for this upgrade. So what do we want for him as a receiver? He's a 75 overall receiver. Catching medium route running deep route running is not bad so how can we get that where's medium route running it's really just route runner i think deep threat could be good as well so we're going to do that and uh continue to develop him as a receiver plus three catch and traffic plus two deep route running plus one release medium route running would be nice for him as a running back short route running is more important though but i think you know, getting deep route running and catching traffic up is actually huge. So we'll move him back to running back and he'll continue his role that he's been playing, which is like a hybrid player. We're breaking out the classical ways. We need to get some mojo going. We're changing up the unis. We're going old school. Not like that, you know, goes back to winning ways. The 1990s Lions were not good. But we're going to East Rutherford, New Jersey. We're taking on Zach Wilson and the Jets. This is a win. We are winning this game. I'll perfect the lean if I have to. Put my face against my monitor. 
Whatever gets me to not suck quite as badly as I have. This has been the worst season of any franchise team I've ever done. I mean, it's been disastrous. But again, you know what? We, we're going to dust ourselves off. We're going to pick ourselves up. Maybe before that, as we get a big sack to Sean Hand to start it off. I was thinking of uh, Alfred from the Batman. You know, he's like, I'm not going to even try to do his accent, you know, Alfred. But he's like, ah, I really want to. It's just so tempting, but I know it's going to be so bad. You know what? Oh, Alex Anzalone, big head. He's, he's like, oh, I, I really shouldn't do it because it's going to be so bad. Like, what do we pick up? Uh, Ah, no, yes, he goes, Where do we fall, Master Wang? And he's, oh, that is, oh, Okuda's there. Oh, I'm going crazy right now? That can't be a catch. But he's like, Where do we fall, Master Bruce? We know whatever he says. He's like, so we can learn to pick ourselves back up. Something like that. Something like that. But that's what I'm going for here. We fell eight times in a row. Look at that return. That was sick for me. All right, no games. I haven't played the game in like a week or so. Doesn't matter. We're coming to play today. We're coming to play. I think time off was good. Let's run this to the left. Jonah Jackson. Oh, we're going to run the football today. We're going to run the ball. DeAndre Swift with a nice nine-yard gain to start things off. I don't know how we go from the 25 to the 35 and gain nine. Explain that one to me. As DeAndre Swift, it's a nice little cutback, kind of. I think we got the first, despite not actually moving from the 35. We go from one half yard line to the other. And we're just going to pound the rock until they make us do something else. And you know what? It's second and long. Probably not going to run the ball here. They had a spy out there. And we still couldn't run the ball. Interesting. Interesting. Quick throw, Rashad Reese. I'm also being conservative. Alex Soto is still the quarterback, by the way. Probably should be Paul Garrison after the disaster that was last game. But it, it, we're going to still go maybe running back by committee or quarterback, quarterback by committee and see what we can do. That's open underneath. Godwin, you got to stretch. Big first down. We're playing a really conservative offense. We are basically with the John Gruden uh, offense with the impression to start running like a nice little west coast scheme almost short passes only here's deandre swift what is that flag gonna be can't be holding surely and they're gonna get us for a hold who's it gonna be taylor decker new right tackle and he sets us back first and 20 is that open soto laser to rashad reese two feet in Man, sometimes I love the throws that he makes because he makes throws that I feel no one else makes. Like Paul Garrison can't make them. Jared Goofball certainly can't make them. Is that open? Soto. Oh, what a beautiful throw. That was actually close coverage, kind of a dangerous throw just because it was a tight window. But I think we nailed it perfectly. Solomon Clifford in the game. We're running I-4. We got a fullback in here. Kind of makes me want to run spider through Y banana man i don't know if we have that play but we could do that with the fullback solomon clifford nice gain i don't know why i'm obsessed with doing a john gruden impression i don't think it's particularly good i'm not running quick pitch that'd be a mistake but i don't actually think it's terrible it used to be pretty decent and i haven't done it in like a year or two but uh <laughs> i know it's probably annoying to some of you so it sucks to be you i guess first down also, like, where has this been the last couple weeks? Have I had good drives like this? Is it because I'm running the football successfully? It's setting the pass up. Rashad Reese gain a five. We have three running backs with carries here in the first quarter. That's got to be a first for the series. I mean, there's no way. There's no way I've done that before. That's wide open. Soto, pass to Williams. Touchdown, Tyrell Williams. This is a different Bengal today. This is a different Bengal. Y'all better watch out. I just set you up. 0-8, oh you're like, the season's over. We're going to win out and make the playoffs at 9-8. and eight. Which sounds disgusting to say with the 17 games, but... <laughs> I'll get used to it. We're going to win out. That's maybe not true. We are playing like the 2-6 and six Jets. 
But man, if I don't feel like Alabama against Troy right now. We're going to send some heat on first and 10. Make Wilson make a quick throw, and he did. Chris Harris Jr., burnt toast. He's so slow. I, well, I mean, we ran cover zero. <laughs> if he gets the ball out quickly to an open receiver down the field, we are going to be screwed there. First and 10 from midfield. Jeez. Oh, the reason why I'm laughing is Tracy Walker. What are you doing? He's sitting right where the slant is. This is an interception. Doesn't even react. Doesn't even react. If I throw that, we know it's an interception. And I'm complaining early. Didn't take long. But geez, dude, put a hand up. Where's the ball? Oh, down goes Wilson. It's Romeo Aquara. That was a really good uh, fake there. Really good sell by Zach Wilson. But it's third and 11. We just had a player make a play. Sometimes that's all you need. Soro being in the box is still weird to me. And that is super open. Or oh, Warrior, huge hit. I keep trying to do that week in and week out. And I miss and miss and miss and miss. But guess what? When I needed to make a hit stick there to force the football out, we made it happen. Jet's going to punt. And we have Rashad Reese back to return. It looks like a really, 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 really good punt. And we are down at the five. We're going to trust DeAndre Swift. Dude, look at Jonah Jackson, 73. I mean, just didn't even engage. Didn't even engage. I live in the replay mode. Check this out. On a run play. See, that's the problem. He's trying to combo block the center. Center. He's trying to combo block with the center. And then he, he bounces off. And the whole thing is to find work here. But the in-game programming of what Jonah Jackson's supposed to do is not what he actually does. Or I'm saying it, the in-game blocking assignment's bad. It has him pick up Alex Anzalone, which you would never pick up a looping player on this. It makes no sense. Also, it makes no sense for what Anzalone's doing. He gets far too uh, down the line here. Like, I get that he's trying to set a good edge, even though you'd think that that's what uh, uh, Carl Lawson's doing. But Jonah Jackson, after combo blocking the center is supposed to get up the field and find work. So Anzalone, who overcommit, should be penalized for this. He'll be out of the play. And then Jonah Jackson should be making contact with this player, and he doesn't. I have no issue with what Tyrell Crosby did, per se, but Jonah Jackson should be up there, and at least not in the way. And there's nowhere to go with DeAndre Swift. We just spent a really long time to look at a four-yard run that wasn't completely unsuccessful. But it, I'm I'm saying it, it could have been way more, and it probably should have been. Quick throw, Rashad Reese. Look at the spin move. Look at the juke move. Rashad Reese is so nasty. And I'm starting out six of six. It's third and inches, by the way. We have to run this left. I just need a good block from Panay Sewell. Be a monster, be a monster. Look at DeAndre Swift. Let's go, DeAndre. Oh, you can't have a hold on this, you cannot. You cannot have a hold. Block in the back. On Shona Jackson. Get him off the team. Sets up. First and 10. That's actually not even bad. I guess you so rarely ever see block in the back and forced on a play like that. I usually almost will always see it on like a... That was not to Tyrell Williams. He dropped it. You'll almost always see it on like kickoffs and 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 punts but never i feel on a play like that just a, a pretty basic run go you know, underneath here i i made a pretty dangerous throw a second ago maybe i was just playing and talking at the same time but we set up third and one can we get a play going to it's paul green we're gonna take it to the end of the first quarter and we'll find a play should we just run a stretch i mean we have the fullback we have a power back and we just get completely stopped. Ah, oh, Jesus. I get, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with calling a stretch there. I don't know if Solomon Clifford is right for a stretch. The fullback gets bumped. We would have get, we would have gotten tackled by the backside player here, TJ Mosley, even if we didn't uh, get tackled by this guy. So even if we broke it inside or stayed outside, it would not have been a first down. The blocking just didn't set up at all. 
like at all. So, I, you know, I had a really good feel about the start of this game. And once again, it's been like the entire rest of the season where we haven't been able to convert on, on third and fourth and short. That one third and short, of course. I almost wonder if DeAndre Swift shouldn't have stayed in the game. Like, Solomon Clifford is cool, and I know I talked about him for short yardage situations. He's just not as good as DeAndre Swift is. Not that it mattered in that spot. That's on me. That's on me. Jesus. Take the ball. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they'll find me out on an island in man coverage. The back will just get out there so quickly, and I just, I, I don't react in time. It puts me in a tough position in man coverage. But I gotta be, I gotta be better than that. Like, I was on that play, and down goes Wilson. Nowhere to throw the football. Romeo Aquara brings him down for the second time in as many quarters. And we already have three sacks. Now, we got beat earlier. Let's actually get out of that. In case this is like a fade or something. And Gordon has some space. Tracy Walker can't wrap up. Davidson does. That's batted down at the line. What a play by Alex Anzalone. I think I found myself out of position there. I was waiting for a little whip route, but he just ran a straight slant. So I would have been probably allowing a catch underneath in that spot. Alex Anzalone just went up and made a huge play. We are going to allow a field goal, but that's fine. 7-3. As Lance Windsor with the hold. You guys remember Lance Windsor? We could have taken him at number two. Opted to go Paul Garrison instead. And he is not starting for us today. And Alex Soto is playing amazingly. So, what do you say about that? First and 10 running empty. Can we audible to a run here? We can. We do have Rashad Reese. He can just take one. Yeah, first down. Let's run the ball. It's just a good thing to do. And we're going to have some space. Rashad Reese has to break that tackle in stride there. Like he did break it. It took him a minute, and Carl Lawson goes down. It's a good run. It's a nine-yard run. How can I just not expect more, though? Rashad Reese has been really good. I think maybe if I could do that again, I would do like a spin or something. I'm rolling out. I'm throwing on the run. Reese, stay in bounds. He toe-tapped out of bounds on purpose. <laughs> Oh, man, I, I got out of the pocket too early. We had that throw probably from a from a set stance. Run up the middle. Oh, my goodness. We got it. Moving the chains. There was a diving jet who almost made an incredible play. And I evaded him. I'm going to give that that to me. Look at that. Little little Bob to the left. Hey, like that was very close. That was very close. That could have been really bad. It wasn't. It was subtle. It was subtle. But that's just why I'm one of the best players on the planet. A lot of DBs on the field. So I usually won't run on second and long. And then in second and eight, I think you can call it that. But they have, I want to say, six defensive backs on the field. So we are going to run against that personnel, I think, pretty much all day. Rashad Reese, first down. They had at least five DBs. I think it was two boundary corners, two safeties. I want to say they had two slots. Yeah. Single high safety. This is where we look to do damage. Play action. Linebackers bite. You got to pick up that block. I had all the best plans in the world. I had all the best plans in the world. I stayed composed under pressure. Fed that into the block. And I, I playmakered him up the field. Tried to let it fly. Throw out a sack. I get the pressure was coming in. I think it was just an unfortunate spot. We have 65 not blocking anybody. Um, is that who I think it is? Tyrell Crosby? Just unfortunate. Just unfortunate. Maybe I high point that ball or something and get it out earlier instead of trying to playmaker him up the field. We can improve. That's a learning moment with Alex Soto. He's been playing well. I'm not going to take him out just yet. But we might look to get Paul Garrison some reps here in the near future. Wilson under pressure. I had to switch on and sack him there maybe. 
because I definitely could have. We were right in his face, and he got a throw off. Third and eight. We're in straight man coverage across the board here. I need to just stay with the back. I just, I'm slagging behind, I guess. I, I feel like it's so impossible to stay with a running back. Or stay with anybody in coverage, because I felt like I read the angle route pretty well, and we just lost him. Uh, maybe having faster linebackers would be good for that. But we just don't have them. We have, like, 80 speed, which isn't bad. That's the touchdown. Okay. We are down in this game, I want to say now. 10-7. How does this happen? How does this happen? Go and play action on first down. We've been running the ball a lot in these spots. I mean, Chris Godwin called for it. We had triangle open on the opposite flat. Just uh, didn't want to throw it. Didn't want to throw it. We are facing second and 10. Looking for something to get open. That is Tyrell Williams. That's going to be real close to the first down marker. I'm not sure if we're going to move the chains or not. And we do. Let's go back to running the football. Let's take the lead before the end of the half. See what DeAndre Swift is all about. I feel like there is more there that I didn't take advantage of. That's open enough. TJ Hawkinson. We get four yards. It, it sets up a third and manageable, we'll call it. And we're not going to get a playoff before the two-minute warning. We have three timeouts. It's not a problem right now. What are the... Uh, Oh, we might even call this four down territory, by the way. What are the Jets' momentum? Hides the ball spot indicator for the away team. I don't even know what that is. Um, I don't know what that is. And then away team fatigues faster. So fatigue maybe going to be playing an impact now. Tyro Williams, big catch. Great timing, tight window. Soto with a laser. Good zip in there. I mean, is Tyrell Williams really going to torch over the top? It's a blitz. Quick throw. Rashad Reese. Good juke back inside. It's a nice gain. It really is. I think Soda's had a really good half. Interception. I get it. I totally get it. But I think uh, I think he's had a good half overall. Soto. Deep. End zone. Touchdown. Who but Quintez Cephas? Quintez Cephas is unbelievable. You can make an argument for Quintess Cephas being the best receiver on this team. Had a huge week last week. Doesn't see the field a ton, but he makes big plays when he does. And look at the spiral. Look at the ball from Alex Soto. Beautiful. Man coverage is pretty bold in this spot. And Derek Davidson doesn't wrap up. Tracy Walker does. Trying to make a big turnover there, but I think with the Jets now at midfield almost, we're going to call just... Just zone coverage. Try to keep him underneath. I don't want to allow a touchdown. That's my big thing. Don't want to allow a touchdown. A field goal is like probable. So it's not the worst thing. But we're just going to try and keep him in front of us. So get out of cover two. Get into cover three. Make them beat us underneath. And that's just super open in the flat. Tracy Walker should be all over that, no? Does the safety not have flat responsibility in that spot? Oh, I had the play flipped. Derek Davidson had the other flat. So, no, Tracy Walker was over the top. I don't, I'm just used to the strong safety playing the, uh, the right side flat. And uh, he wasn't in that responsibility. So, that's, that's fine. Just good play by them. And again, we're going to blitz Derek Davidson. We need somebody to make a play here. Let's get after it. Davidson, somebody get in there. Down goes Wilson. It's Deshaun Hand. I think maybe even Derek Davidson gets credit for half a sack there. We just absolutely screamed at the quarterback. Yep, half a sack for Derek Davidson. Certainly did the job, and now on second and 22. We're going to shade over the top. They have to beat us over the top. Okay, they had a touchdown. They ran four verticals. What? You cannot tell me that's not a tackle. I don't even know if they'll get back to the line, though. They won't. Half over. Honestly, played well. <laughs> uh, we'll take the end of the half there. That was a little bit of a weird game. 
I think the offense was really, really good, though. Only 49 rushing yards, but I think the the running game really was fantastic for us there. And we will continue to try and defend the medium pass. I feel like our defense has played really well, only allowing 10 points. We get the football. They have points off turnover or turnover. Yeah, turnover, but points off turnovers, but only one of them. So I did throw an interception. It's inevitable. I'll throw minimum one a game. Like there is no zero per game. So if it's a throw out a sack pick, I can live with it right like Rashad Reese just fumbled the ball okay all right Rashad Reese gets stripped and that's what you get for playing a receiver at running back yep third and one I'm tempted to say that this is a run here well okay no <laughs> That theory uh, went away pretty quickly as soon as they moved to empty. And that's just thrown right over me. Again, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot there, but just a better throw by Zach Wilson with the touch right over the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. TD, Jets retake the lead off the turnover. So they have two touchdowns, I believe, off turnovers. A throw out of sack interception and a run on the first play of the second half. DeAndre Swift going to get a carry now. And he had some space, takes a huge hit. I felt like there was a lot of space there. I'm not sure we fully took advantage of it. I feel like I've been saying that a couple times now. I feel like the Jets, with how much they crowd the box, are susceptible to long runs if we can get to the outside. Nice little cutback, DeAndre Swift. Follow the blockers a little bit, and it's first and 10. I actually thought it was gonna be third and short. But look, they have, you know, a nickel package, two backers in the A-gap. And we just have space up the field. Great block, Tyrell Williams, and there's a flag. They're going to call it illegal block in the back. Anytime we get a positive rushing play, it's, it's called back. Holding, actually. That's going to be on Taylor Decker for the second time. Yeah, it is on you. You suck. First and 17, we're going to throw the football. Is that open back underneath? I mean, CJ Mosley just made one of the craziest plays by a linebacker I've ever seen. So... I looked away from him because I saw Godwin. Oh, man. I thought he was following it. I took a glance. I saw him do that right there. And I'm like, oh, he's going to read this. He's going to read the uh, whip route. He's going to be all over this. So I looked away, followed the comeback the whole way. And I'm like, I'm throwing it because I thought CJ Mosley would be in the flat. Godwin was wide open. Didn't see him. Man, playing quarterbacks hard. Second and 17. Godwin, did he win? I think he won. I think he won. Chris Godwin. It's intercepted. Oh my God. Eli Apple. Give me a fucking break. We're going to get Paul Garrison some, uh, some reps here in the second half. Oh, I can barely even believe that. I can barely believe that. I felt like Chris Godwin won almost instantly. Check this out. I, I mean, like, Eli Apple somehow managed to stay in phase there playing trail technique. I mean, I can just barely believe that. Okuda picks it off! Jeff Okuda! Let's go, baby! We're gonna take the lead! Get well soon, Jeff Okuda, by the way. Tore his Achilles in real life. He's going to miss the 2021 season. But he's playing in this franchise in 2022. Pick six. Way to undercut the route. Way to jump the ball. And take it all the way back. I mean, we have seen that so few times this entire series. That is a thing of beauty. And in my opinion, we justly retake the lead. That is just. That is right. Davidson, nice tackle. He doesn't force any fumbles for having big hitter. I don't think his uh, hit power rating is that high. He has the trait, though. I feel like we did pretty well for traits. I know Alex Soto has really good traits. I don't think Garrison really does. And Derek Davidson definitely has good traits. But what is his hit power? I want to say it's like 78. 
74. Like, no wonder he's not forcing fumbles. Anzalone, please. Our linebackers just cannot hang at all with anyone that's an eligible receiver. I honestly feel like if they brought in a fifth or a sixth offensive lineman to be an eligible receiver, we would be allowing receptions to him, like, without question. In the same way in MLB The Show, like, eventually I'll hit a home run, even if the power rating's not amazing. Like, we're going to force a fumble with a lower hit power player at some point. Also, I had an opportunity to get a big tackle for loss there, went for a hit stick, and uh, did not tackle. Oh, they got me. They got me. Wilson lobbing it up. Somebody take the football. That can't happen. Corey Davis cannot get hands on the football there. And also, that ball cannot get popped back up and not get intercepted. Somebody had to make a play there. We had a quarterback spy on the field. Wilson's got time. I'm getting after him. That ball's a throwaway to a wide open receiver. And that is fourth down. Jets going to hopefully miss this field goal, but probably bring it to a one point game. Fourth and nine. I'll play fake, as unlikely as that is. Kick up and good. Jets make it 21 20. Paul Garrison getting some snaps now. Playing with the lead. Going to see if this changes the offense a bit, but we plan on running the football a good amount. So Paul Garrison's just basically in there for snaps as he hands the ball off to DeAndre Swift mainly. I could see Rashad Reese getting a carry or two. I know he fumbled. I'm not afraid to throw him the or to get him a, the ball. A fumble is a fumble. They happen. It's already third and four, dude. I don't know how we didn't even get a yard on that. Rashad Reese back into the game. I'm looking... I'm looking probably at one of these drags. We need the first down. That's open. Garrison finds Quintez Cephas. He's going to break a tackle. Let's go, Quintez. A little cutback. That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes I'm all right not following the blocks. A lot of times they don't even get there. But if we can get guaranteed yardage like that, oh, man, I really want to just throw it to TJ Hawkinson immediately. I'm going to. Let's go, Hawk. First down. Do I have possession catch there? I always get so afraid with the, uh, the DB coming over. That was a pretty dangerous throw to make. I'm comfortable with it, but I recognize it. We're going to streak Hawk. I think I'm going to slant Tyrell Williams. In my head, something gets super open, but we'll see. There's play action. And there's a throw on the run. Chris Godwin will take a big time first down. Third and nine. This is actually a big third down. However, however, a field goal it makes this so that the Jets cannot tie it or take the lead in the near future with a field goal. A field goal would obviously give them the lead. A field goal for us would make sure they're still down by one. Third and nine. Huge down. Do I like this play? What does this do for us? I think maybe I like this a little bit more. Shallow cross on the field. Paul Garrison. Make a throw. Make a throw! What a ball! Paul with the ball. Uh, it's an unreal throw. It's an unreal throw. Like, that's phenomenal. That is, that is one of the best throws of the game, I would say. And it... It comes down to Paul Garrison making the throw when he needed to. Not Alex Soto. Cut back. DeAndre Swift. Touchdown. Let's get it. Let's get it. Big drive. Big third down conversions when we needed them. And this is going to make it an eight point game. Which is a really, really, really good spot to be in the fourth quarter. Like, obviously, you'd like to be up by two scores. But eight points is phenomenal. Because even if they score a touchdown, in order to tie, they need to convert the two-point conversion, which we know if they want to, the CPU is going to do it every time. They'll run, you know, something with quick outs or quick slants on the goal line, and they'll throw the ball immediately and immediately have a touchdown. It's not defendable if the CPU wants to score, but if they don't do that, we could be in a really good situation.
Good tackle, Okwara. To run, I'm just staying right in my lane. Right in my lane, Anzalone helps Deshaun Hand, ends up wrestling him down. Third and seven. I'm not going to dial up pressure. We're just in a situation in the game where we don't need to. The risk-reward, I don't think, matches up. And that's a quick throw to the flat. Gronk's there. They're going to give it to him. And they're going to punt on fourth and one. I get it's from their own 34. And if they don't get it, we are easily in field goal range. We can make it 31-20. So if you trust your defense, maybe a punt's a good idea. But uh, that one's going to be downed. I just didn't want to risk taking a, a big hit there. And uh, I didn't get the fair catch off in time. So I decided to just run away. I'm comfortable with the decision. And I want Hawkinson again. See if it's nice catch. That was dangerous. That was really dangerous. I just... Whenever I'm throwing those shallow crossers, I anticipate the timing to work out a little bit differently than it does. And I recognize it's something I need to improve upon. As... Just based on the look they're showing me, I really, really, really just want to throw the football here. I think we're going to have an easy look. Quick throw. You can't miss that, Garrison. You can't miss it. You can't miss that throw. I just didn't want to run the ball against that look. I will here, even on second and long. Just want to take some time off the clock. Cut back. DeAndre Swift. That's beautiful. Sets up third and short. That is beautiful, and we are going into shoe clock mode. We are actually in a position to win the game. I am not blowing it. I'm sure I will, and we're going to lose, but I'd, I'd like to think that we're not going to blow it. Rashad Reese, big broken tackle, first down. Might have been better for a Solomon Clifford spot there, and even here on first and 10, but Reese is going to get another carry and break a tackle. They might be going for the football. I'm a little bit afraid of that. They want me to run QB draw. That's insane. And I'm down. This is how we lose the game. <laughs> like, why am I doing that? I got to be like, no, that's actually an insane idea and not do it. But this is my problem. I go, that's an insane idea. My eyes light up and I'm like, let's do it. It's not good. All right. Third and seven. Quick throw. Godwin open. First down. I feel like I'm just seeing receivers open underneath better today. Like, when they stop and come back, and like, we had a hitch there to Godwin. I feel like normally I'm just not looking at that. I'm just staring down the field. So we're going to roll out on the run. Garrison just didn't hit the throw. Tough throw. But I, Reese also had no effort for that. And we're going to run away from the safety here. I think this is going to be a really, really good play. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Nice run, DeAndre Swift. I really do like the idea of a slip screen here. I worry that they've figured this out, though. I'm going to try something. I know that CJ Mosley is the mic. How do I ID the mic? That's not it. I don't know how to do it. I'm, I'm hitting... Oh, no, I'm hitting X. Oh, there we go. I want to ID the slot corner there and see if the blocking works a lot better on this. Okay, so no one blocked anyone, is what I saw in that one. <laughs> no one blocked anyone. And we, I've tried screens before. That's usually what happens. Nobody blocks anybody. But I figured if we ID'd the mic, that the blockers actually get out in front and block who I said to block, but they turn back towards the other side of the field, block nobody. Like, I'm okay with 93 making a big play there. Like, I'm okay with him, but I feel like the other... The guy, the DB, should be completely taken care of and out of the play. But on fourth and six, we're going to try for a field goal here. I think it was the right move. We played conservatively. We played conservatively. Tell me I didn't miss this. Kick up and good. 31-20. We played conservatively, but as I was saying, it was the right move. We go up by two possessions, under two minutes to play. Zach Wilson's really going to need a miracle. And this should be our first one of the season. I know we're barely escaping if all things go well here. We are barely escaping with a win over the 2-6 and six New York Jets. But guess what? We are the 0-8 Detroit Lions. So I'll take it. I don't care if we beat the 1-7 Texans. 
I don't know that they're one and seven in this league, but you know, we needed a win so badly, and I don't want to jinx anything. Not like I believe in that crap, but I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Yeah, Wilson's looking bad. Fourth and ten game on the line. We're gonna play over the side. We're gonna play man coverage, but we're gonna play off the ball. Or, or farther off the ball. Wilson going one-on-one. -on -one. Okuda! Good enough defense. Shuma Edoga is the injured jet. Man coverage was kind of bold in that spot, I'm realizing now, but we got it done. Should be the game. I would not mind another touchdown for morale. It's not like we can lose the game even at this point. No timeouts. I think this is a guaranteed win. Safety blitz. Something is getting open here. It's Hawkinson. He's going to turn up the field. He's going to stay in bounds. Hawkinson down to the five. Look at Paul Garrison's stat line, by the way. Nine for 12, 107. I'm, I'm down for another TD for morale. This is our first win of the year, man. This is a huge win. This is a huge win. Just to get back in the positive column, or in the win column, we hadn't actually been there. So this is, this is huge. I mean, no way around it. No way around it. This is massive. Second and goal. Slant on the RPO. Tyrell Williams, touchdown number two of the game. 38-20 is your final. Listen, I get taking a knee. I get it. You know what they say? Hey, you know, act like you've been there before. Here's the thing. We haven't. This is our first win of the year. We really want to take it to these guys. 38-20. Of course, you know, it probably should have been 31-20. Jets were in desperation, turned over the football. I'm so happy to get this win. You have no idea. But this is another interesting scenario where both quarterbacks, I think, played fairly well. Paul Garrison did not throw a pick. Alex Soto got taken out. As down goes Wilson. He's going to fumble. Recovered by Clemens. And Russ Clemens takes it back to the two. Oh, you think I won't try and run it in? Or throw it in? You are sadly mistaken. You have no idea. Slant, touchdown, Rashad Reese. Well, we're pouring it on. I think Romeo Aquara got to the QB again. And this final score is not going to be 38-20. It's going to be 45-20. That is the most ridiculous 45 points of all time. We really just scored 14 points in, what, 10 seconds? That's a record. That's got to be a record. Going for Soro, and it's intercepted. That should finally be the game. You don't expect to see Soro out here making plays, but there he is. We had three turnovers. Like, that's kind of insane. That's kind of insane, because it didn't feel like that. But 45-20 is your final. We scored, I want to say, well more than half of our points in the fourth quarter. Just because of the Jets, you know, in desperation mode. Which I'm cool with. I don't know exactly how many points we scored in the fourth quarter, but look at that chart. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Final, I mean, look at this. Soto, two picks. I mean, but Paul Garrison, I mean, what do you say about these two touchdowns? <laughs> they were garbage. But 11 for 14 for 110, two TDs. This was a fun game. It's fun to win. Rashad Reese only averaged 3.3 .3 per carry, did fumble, broke three tackles though, Swifty didn't break any. 72 rushing yards, Alex Soto of course with no attempts, receiving, Rashad Reese led in receiving yards, or receiving um, just catches, receptions, 42 yards and a touchdown, Tyro Williams 5 for 58, two touchdowns, ball distribution all over the place, Quintus Cephas with 4 for 62 and a touchdown. Hawkinson, 4 for 57. Godwin, 3 for 32. He's useless. Derek Davidson leads the team in tackles. Romeo Aquara has three tackles for loss, three sacks, one and a half for Deshaun Hand, half a sack for Derek Davidson, and two picks, Andrew Soro and Jeff Okuda. Forced fumble for Romeo Aquara, of course, recovered by Russ Clemens, and a TD for Jeff Okuda. Defense played really, really, really well. And, of course, yeah, look at that. 21 points in three quarters, 24 in the fourth. <laughs> I'll 
I'll take it. I'll take it. Defense played really well, I think. Offense found it. A touchdown a quarter and then some in the fourth is wonderful. So that's going to close the book on week 10 here. We finally get in the win column. It feels so good. It feels so good to get a win. I mean, I don't know how long that feeling is going to last. We play the Packers next week. Surely that's not going to go well. <laughs> Big upgrades for Tyler Bass there. Kick power and accuracy. But it feels really, really good to get a win. It's on, it's on to Green Bay. Thank you guys for watching. We got a breakout player challenge, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.